My girlfriend keeps accusing me of cheating. She's starting to sound like my wife. You're welcome. Well, they're here to start digging, but this is our road. They got stuck on the way into the road that leads into, not even our driveway, just the road in. Their truck got stuck. Now they're trying to unload the, this big uh, tractor off of it and they're getting sand and putting sand underneath the tires and hoping that they can make it up the road that leads to our cabin. Welcome to winter. Our road is basically just a sheet of ice. I hope the driveway is not like that. That's the tractor. Holy crap. I think the tractor's fine, but man, look at this metal. How wow. bent up it is. Yeah. Look, all them, they're all broke and bent. See them all here? Yeah. Like it's just, everything's like sheared. Look back here. We're looking there. Oh my goodness. That's pretty bad, eh? Yeah. I feel like it's uh, unrepairable at this point. Yeah. Just so much for making it through one winter. Yeah. Wow. Now we can just get this out. Yeah. Because we're still going to be able to plow with this this year. Yeah. It's pure ice. Greg. Probably not even overly safe to be standing in here. No. This, what it was, was our weather's been right messed up, so it's been raining and then snowing and then freezing rain and like the temperature has been going down and above zero all the time and now it's like down into like i think it's close to minus 20 this week big um so now and now it's just in the deep freeze mm -hmm. of the winter probably but it did all this swinging for a bit and now i think that's why we ended up with this and it was a uh, was it like 100 mile an hour winds yeah yeah so we had pretty crazy wind but i think it's more the the swing in temperatures because you're kind of hidden because the 100 mile an hour probably wasn't hitting here because oh, mm -hmm. that would just remove it entirely mm -hmm. but yeah looks good oh it's a it's a little tight
Okay, got a little bit of damage on here. This got bent coming out. Get up here, the plastic, that plastic got broke up. So I'll just put a bunch of tuck tape on that. But nothing other than that, nothing, nothing more than that, so that's good. I'll just tape that up so to keep water from getting in it or anything. I probably should have attempted to take stuff off it instead of holding stuff up to drive out of it, but well, too late now. I didn't realize. I think that was already broke because it was actually. Because I remember when we looked, that was already bent down from right here, that part there that's broke. So there was no way around that anyway. Anyways, this will be the last one of these we use. It's the fourth one we used. First one we used, we had sold it because we were just living on base. And then we just sold it because it was just in a fenced in area where really no damage could get to it. Didn't have it very long. Just had an old Jeep in it. But then the last couple we have, we got real cheap and used them for a bit until they collapsed. And then this one hasn't even been here a year. We actually didn't, didn't pay for this. So, so that's why I decided to just try it. And while well, it wasn't worth it because it damaged the tractor and I would have been better off with it just tucked in under the trees for now. But it is what it is. Mistakes happen. So what I'll do now is when we do a garage, I'll do a lean-to off the garage and then I'll put the tractor in that. And then that'll be a good little spot for it. We'll probably get that for next winter. This winter, I'll just tuck it in under the trees for now. We're having a problem with this tree right here. They don't want to cut it down because it's so rotten and it hit the house. So we had to call in somebody with a crane to, or whatever that is, to come and cut it for us. Looking cool. Give this lots of room. Yeah. All right. We just folded that down. See, there's a crack. Gonna tape that, and then just tape this in. Could have brought a knife up. Yeah. Okay. Freak. We're doing that. Mm-hmm. We probably should have slid it. Right? Yeah. We'll build like a little ramp. For it to go down. Yes. Like the water flows down like a little roof. Hmm. It's like red green but with tuck tape. Yeah. You know you can often judge a handyman by the number of empty duct tape rolls he has lying around. If the women don't find you handsome, they'll at least find you handy. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Ah, it's just like new. <laughs> Tim should have done this from the start. Mm -hmm. Hey? Yeah. That would have never broke. <laughs> That's it from what you see? Build a hole there, maybe? I think so. Little hole there. Oh yeah, the water will run right off that. Beauty. Right there, you want to get an up close look at that here? Show you. Look at that. Never seen a better job. Probably that one too. Yeah. I think this one too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So what we're going to do, since these are pointless out here now, is we're going to bring these inside we can at least build with them yep because they're good two by fours and they're not wet so we'll get that closet built yeah i didn't pull it over the cut dude. hit me in the face with it be bad 
I'm overdressed. <laughs> I'm literally never overdressed. I could always be warmer. Because you literally never do anything. <laughs> I cut this. Yeah. It's this one zip tie holding everything. Yeah. It could be the uh, two by four. What a mess. Never ever will we use one of these again. No, that's what I was saying. Uh, it's a little bit of weight Maybe on. wait, take that one out and then come out and pull this one. You don't this, need this one here is clearly acting as a room. Yeah, you don't want to be standing in it. <laughs> it almost seems like it pushed it in. Oh, a lot of weight right there, though. Yeah. Good. Oh, I'm I moved two boards of seven. <laughs> Look at the salt chunk. Bag salt bag was froze. Gotta get it in a bucket. All right, and back inside here. You saw the last video, we just needed to finish this, so we actually got that hooked up now. So that's awesome. So now uh, this is heating water. And we mentioned in the last video why we did that, so you can go check that out, why we swapped it out for the uh, hot water in demand. Link's right up here. Check out that video. And then this here, we need to swap with the breaker, so we got a new breaker put in there. And that's all it. We're ready to go. Look out here. That's the land being cleared. This here's where it'll walk out. It'll walk out of this. This will become a doorway. Okay, a little bit more done here now. So you see the trench diverts around. It used to come right up through here. Now it goes around here. Make sure the water goes that way. And then this is all planed out. Bunch of hardwood there. I'll put to the side let dry out junk up more so lots of wood to burn there and this is where it'll come so the extension will come out right right up to that bathroom window there and the door will come out there but that'll just be like a big room coming out here and then two stories here we're just going to get like a top fill on top of that similar we did here this was actually a compressed pad we'll get like a top layer of rock on that at least so we're not working in the mud but it looks uh pretty much it's really close to being ready we basically just wanted because the weather's been so strange here we haven't been getting the snow it seems like a lot of people down south are the ones getting the snow this year and we're kind of having a break this year it'll come it always does there's some snow but not like usual but before you know it, there'll be 10 feet of snow. 10 feet of snow coming down over the next couple months. Missed the first couple weeks, so it'll be 10, a little less than usual. We average 15 a year, give or take. So anyways, this here, pretty excited about that. It's gonna be super cool. And it opens this up a little better, so that's cool. You saw that big tree right there. What it was was it had to come down, This the tree, was good for so long but then it was rotted at the top so you try cutting and it was leaning towards the cabin so it just was bad to try to cut it like to get it to fall properly it was just a weird situation it was on in, like and it was actually in a ditch because at the time all this part here was like there right so it was coming off that it was just a bad spot so it was good they came out with a boom truck and you just do 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 cut it down uh, it was good, We were, but like we were saying about the weather there, it's good we were able to do it now because this road does get plowed coming up here, but we're on like a fairly good elevation up here and it can get pretty shady, that road, even though it does get cleared out, it can get pretty bad. It gets cleared out because there's one more farm on this mountain, so it's right at the top and then we're down a bit and it, so it's us too kind of up, up here. So good for us though, it gets plowed out, but it does still get really sketchy. So if it, it had been, normally this time of January, you'd never get, you'd never be able to do it this time of year, but 
not without a lot more hassle but it worked out and we got it so we'll get that last little bit of fill on there and we'll be ready to if the weather holds off maybe we'll start sooner but the main thing is that we're ready to hit the ground running in in the spring that's the main idea behind this and it's just ready to go so we'll get like screw piles put in here same as we did on the cabin same as we did in the last cabin and then might get a little bigger set because we're going to do two levels there once they're in there it'll be set we might get those put in if we can before the spring so then when the spring comes boom they're already in do your beams and start building so so right here we got a more pile of wood right there that will junk up more stuff we can burn and also right around where this is and right over to here probably that's where we're going to put the garage so the sheds there there's the little camper and the, the shed the shed we tore down with the tractors just around there and then the cabin there extension going to go here so then the garage will be like right over here we're going to do similar as we did before we did the 24 by 24 with 10 foot ceilings before we're going to do probably something similar to that. We're going to make sure I put two doors instead of one. I did a 12 foot door wide in the middle, eight feet high. So you could get full size trucks lifted and stuff in it. I'm going to do two probably door, two eight foot high doors on each side. So I can kind of like have two bays almost and probably tweak the dimensions too. But that'll go here, but that's, and I'll probably get that pad ready for this year too. So it's just ready, right? And it's just nice to have like that section ready this section ready and then we can just work at it uh as we go right so that's the plan loose plan then inside here let's see if this is heated up enough so we got our hot, hot water and make sure i had the right one on shouldn't be too much air bleeding out of it because we did already do that there it is yeah there she is sweet hot water and that'll be nice constant hot water Hot water and demand, like we were saying in the previous video, was a pain. It wasn't constant, especially when showering. Doing this stuff, I mean, you get away with it. But with the shower, and especially with having a child, uh, her in the shower, we don't want to burn her out. And you could set it low, but then you'd, you'd have to go out into the utility room and set it back in the shower. It's just a pain in the butt. So this is the way to go. We talked about uh, that, our reason and all that. And that's kind of what the reason it was anyways. But this will be way better. So pretty happy about that.